Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to English Choices YouTube channel. I'm Matt from SP Fishing TV and today we're going to talk a little bit about organization. We're going to specifically be talking about these Busby Colony boxes. So I picked up some of these Busby boxes from English Choice months ago. I don't really like to talk on products unless I've used them for quite a bit and now that we're June July, August, September, October, about six months into using these. I have a lot of experience with them now and I feel like I've figured out the things that I really like about them, things that I don't like so much, and I have enough experience that I feel I can give you a reputable review. So I started off with the Busby Colony 28 starter kit. So it gives you six of these Colony 28 boxes and a bunch of the bins on the inside. You can configure these boxes however you want. This is the standard size box. They also come in a Colony 28 deep, which is gonna be maybe another inch tall. And then they have a smaller overall size box, like a 15 and a Colony 8. Overall, the regular size boxes have done me very well so far. So we're gonna start with some of the things that I really like about these Colony 28s. So first being, they're nearly indestructible. Supposedly, you can run these over with a truck. Uh, which we'll actually try in that. You hear a lot of people say, yeah, you can run these things over with a tank, and they never show you in the video, but we're gonna be doing that today. Um, besides that, they're fully customizable. They have a really, really cool hex lock on the bottom of the box. So you have these individual bins that you can keep stuff like your crankbaits in, or your terminal tackle, or worms, or whatever it may be. And at the bottom here, you can see how there's that hex lock pattern in the bottom of these bins literally just sit right into that box and you just pop them back into place and they're good to go. So you can move them around from box to box. If you have a box that you need to put within another one of the Colony 28s, you can just pop that bin out, snap it into the other one. It's fully universal. As long as it's in the same size box, you can move them around however you want. And the bins also come in different sizes. So if it's something like your terminal tackle box. You can see I have a bunch of these little one by one boxes up here. I'm using that for hooks, weights, little scrounger lips, blades, tungsten weights, things like that. Um, things that don't need a lot of space. Then when you get into your bigger hooks or things like crankbaits, you can use the bigger bins. But something that you can see right on the top of this colony box, it has a bunch of little squares all the way across. So no matter which bins that you're using, they call it a no travel system, I believe. So if it's fully locked down and in place, you can flip this thing, shake it, do whatever with it. And none of your hooks or weights will move around, which if you use a standard Plano box and you have the little plastic slides, you will have terminal tackle slide around those. There's really no way around it. And it seems like Busby really figured that out with the way that the lid closes down over top of the bins. It keeps everything right in place as it should. And with that rubber seal going around the top, it's completely waterproof, which is nice too. Don't judge me on the little bit of rust in here. That's probably from putting wet hooks inside and it's sitting there for a little bit. But I would say completely waterproof. They actually float too, which I unfortunately can't test today. But I've seen other videos of people floating it. I haven't seen anybody post a video of running one of these over, so let's just go do that real quick. pretty impressed. Honestly, there is not a mark on this box. So on the bottom, we've got a little bit of road rash, but that's not gonna affect the box at, at all. Still pops out, no problem. Sweet. So a little more on these boxes. The hinges on here are super strong and high quality. Also, when you pop them, they 
literally fold right down so you don't have to mess around with trying to get them off the latch so you can get into your box. They're also all built with indentations on the top here so they sit right on top of one another. They put a lock hole over each individual box, so if you need to padlock this for whatever reason, you can do that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put some sort of strap in between there because I will say this is maybe one of the negatives that it's not even that big of a negative, it's just something that I've noticed. When you have these things stacked up in your boat like this and they're kind of compressed, when you're going to grab one, Sometimes they do lock a bit and it's hard to pull one out and you end up with three. So if you had some sort of strap going through there, it should just very easily pop right out like that. But overall, super, super impressed with these Busby boxes. I look forward to getting some of the 28 deeps. I think that'll be a little bit better as far as deep cranks and any sort of bigger bait. That might be the one drawback with these, even if you have some of the very very large bins putting in bigger baits you know your glides or crank downs or just bigger baits in general um, they're not going to fit into these smaller boxes and even if you could get it to fit you're gonna be wasting so much space you might be able to fit like five or six of them in here which might work for you for me i like to be able to put as many big baits or as many baits into one box as possible but overall very excited and happy to be using these busby boxes the organization side of it is kind of changed the way that I look at things. I mean, I've been using the Plano 3700s for the last six years. These are significantly nicer. Um, yes, there is a bit of a price jump, but you get what you pay for. These things are indestructible. They're waterproof, they float. So also if you're a kayak fisherman and you dump the rig, uh, you don't have to worry about losing any of your gear. So that's always good too. But if you guys wanna check these out, make sure you click the link down in the description below. You can actually call English Choice Marine and order some of these Busby boxes right now. So tell them I sent you, you might get a little love too. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.